Hello everyone. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really like speaking in front of the camera like this, where I set up a camera and start talking and put it on Instagram because I think it's a little bit cheesy, um, almost as if you're trying to be some sort of celebrity or something like that, but it seems to be the norm. Um, I've got a business to run, so I'm going to have to start doing stuff like this, so just bear with me. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is just to speak about the online workouts that I was doing. Um, there's two things I want to say. I want to apologise to people and I want to thank people, so... I'm going to try and keep it short, um, but I do ramble on, so it's up to you if you want to listen or not. I want to thank people first. Um, in fact, no, I'm going to apologise first, to be honest with you. I'm going to apologise because I just stopped doing the workouts and I never let anyone know. And that, I, like, you don't understand now, it's been eaten away at me for about two or three weeks now that I haven't informed. I, I never got thousands of people doing the workouts and it probably sounds... I don't know, a bit a bit silly to say, but the fact that I never done one final workout or I never put on Instagram that I wasn't going to do the workouts anymore, I feel a little bit bad because anyone who knows me knows how much I enjoyed doing them and the response that I got was fantastic. Um, so I really, really apologise for, for no post or anything about stopping the workouts. Um, the reason, I'm going to be honest, the reason I stopped doing the workouts is because I got a message from the gym. They were saying that they've opened up the side studio. If you have the shutters and the back door open, we're okay to use it. And um, I was tearing people away because of the workouts. And I'm in no position to start tearing people away because I've got a, a mortgage to pay and I've got bills to pay, just like everyone else. Um, so hopefully everyone understands that, which I'm sure you will. Um, but... I was turning people away for the first week or so of, of it opening to get home and do the workouts. And what was happening was I was cycling home, doing the workouts and having to shower and cycle back home, eh, cycle back to work. And before I knew it, it was taking two or three hours away from earning an income. And as I said, I've never I, I've never really been one of them who wants millions of pounds in the bank from, from working. I enjoy doing what I'm doing now. And as long as I'm comfortable, that means more to me than anything. So... As I said, in lockdown, I was struggling because I never got any self-employed income scheme or whatever it was called. Um, I never got any universal credit. For whatever reason, I applied and I never got it and I don't know why. Um, doesn't surprise me, but I never got it. Um, the only income I did get was the GoFundMe page. Um, and I'm just going to briefly speak about that. So the GoFundMe page, I know it was very 50-50 for some people. Um you know, some people were thinking, oh, you know, how can you start asking other people for donations? Other people were like, that's a fantastic idea. And to be honest with you, I'm one of them who doesn't really, you know, other people's opinion doesn't really bother me. But when it comes to obviously people's income and that, I like to try and support people as much as I can as well. And I just want to touch on that. It was never to get extra income. If I got the self-employed scheme, I'd have never put the GoFundMe. If I got universal credit, I'd have never have done the GoFundMe. I needed to go for me because I needed some income because I have a house to pay for, as I said, and bills to pay. Um, so for those who it was very 50-50, you know, so be it. Um, luckily, I, I imagine you got the self-employed scheme or universal credit. That That's fantastic. You know, good on you. I never, and I had to do something. So if you didn't agree with it, tough really. Um, and I don't want to start, you know, being negative or anything like that, but that was one of the things that, that kind of got me back up at the start. And I'm one of them who usually just let stuff go over the red. But uh, when I heard that a couple of people were saying it was very, you know, another PT messaged me saying that he's, you know, he's heard a couple of people saying, oh, we shouldn't be doing it. It's tough. I, I wasn't going to change it because David, the PT, or Bob, whoever, or whatever, I'm not going to obviously mention people's names, but they didn't agree with it. They're not going to pay my bills. So, so be it. Um, but yeah, I, I had to do something. So I want to thank people for not only the GoFundMe, which honestly which was a massive help. Honestly, a massive help. Um, I didn't expect to get that much. Whoever donated, honestly, you don't understand how thankful I am for it. And I, I, everyone who donated, even anonymous people. By the way, if you can hear squeaking, it's the chair, it's not me. I've got a very, very squeaky chair. Um, but yeah, if you donated, honestly, you don't understand how much it meant. I, I, you know, anyone who's donated, I've, I've kept a note of because that that's helped me in some way and I'm very, very thankful for that. 
Um, I want to thank anyone who liked it, liked the video, subscribed, reposted, shared it to the story, commented to me, sent me a message. Anything, any in any way supported what I was doing. Honestly, you don't understand how much that means, um, and still does. To be honest with you, as I said, I'm, I'm just as gutted as those who were taking part or whatever to to stop the workout. But it's just something I had to do. But um, yeah, as I said, I just wanted to thank people. Apologize for not doing it. Um, I will carry on doing it at some point. I promise. I promise. I, I've built the, or you've built the channel up for me. I went from three subscribers. The day before I started the workout to 250 or so, which doesn't sound a massive amount, but to me, a small business, it's huge. Um, the other thing, you know, I want to speak about on the workouts, obviously, was somebody else was doing the workouts, who everyone knows, Joe Wicks was doing the workouts. And one thing I will say is, you know, I never ever had an issue with him for doing it. You know, I'd be daft to. He was helping millions, and I mean millions of people. And he's somewhat, you know, if I had millions of people, he's not someone I look up to, but the following he's got, that's that's what you you know, anyone who has a business wants to wants to get. And he was helping as many people as he could as possible. I didn't agree with some things, as people know. Um and there's one thing I'll never do is work for the sun, ever, no matter what. He could offer me millions and millions of pounds, one one company, one business, whatever you want to call them. I would never ever work for them. Um, and he did and I just don't agree with it but as I said he was helping millions of people out so um, that that's another thing obviously I, I'm not going to apologise for that but I'm not I'm, you know in some ways I'm thankful that he was doing it because he kind of got me some exposure with things as well um, not that he meant it you know it was all my own doing and other people's but I got some exposure from that as well and as I said he, he was helping millions of people and I, you know, one day hopefully I get the following he's got. Um, but yeah, as I said, I, I know I'm starting to ramble on. I can't help it. it. I get carried away. But yeah, as I said, to those who who, who supported it in any way, um, I hope you enjoyed the dancing. You know, I know everything. Everything you do can't be perfect. I know some people who are considered mates. Um, as I said, I'm going to be as honest as I can on this. The considered mates were saying how some of the things were cringe to other friends of mine. Oh, well. Other people enjoyed it. If you didn't like it, you didn't have to watch it. You know, it's just one of them. Um, and th thanks for the view for watching it. So, um, as I said, I, I, I'm not really one of them. If, if he, you know, the person who said that he didn't like it, I made sure I'd done dances even ten times more. I even added a bit of Dick Van Dyke into my playlist, so... I was staff for there, a bit of cringe. But yeah, anyway, enough rambling on. Thanks to everyone, honestly. Um I'll try and end it on a positive note. Thanks to everyone who, who did follow it and, and honestly thanks to everyone who subscribed and shared and anything, seeing schools do it, not just the school of work, and seeing schools do it on a big project then and families doing it and people messaging me saying how it's helped their mental health and things like that. I didn't expect that response, I expected one person to be watching it. Um, probably someone in my family to be watching it and that was it and thankfully it wasn't and as I said it's it's not the end um, of the workouts I'll, I'll do weekend ones sometime I'll do summer Aldi ones or Easter Aldi or Christmas Aldi's or whatever I will do something again don't forget you can still subscribe you can still like you can still comment but um, yeah listen everyone I'll, I'll stop rambling on thanks toodle pip and sniffing